Welcome back to Joy Ani Scrapping in My Own Private Idaho. This is de the December um, calendar page, and it's the last one for my calendar series for this year. I will be making other calendars, but this is the only one that I'm going to um, do every one for. And what I'll be doing is I will show you later this week when I have my whole kitchen table, I will show you um, how I put the calendars together. And um, I do make albums and give albums in conjunction with these calendars. So I'll show you how I do that. But today we are doing the sketch that we're using is from Scrap a Sketch, which is a Facebook group. And it is, um, the admin is Lisa Sikarski. And I believe this is done by um, the gals. I, I'm not for sure who did this sketch, but it is through Scrap a Sketch. And... Um, they are having a stocking full of sketches and so normally they just have one sketch a week every friday there's a new sketch this isn't this week so it's actually the week before i'm just a little bit slow um, but anyway we're going to be using this sketch it is super versatile and i am making it interactive and i'm going to show you how to make a template so that you can use this sketch over and over again it is so versatile, it is so fun. So here we go. So um, I am using two different paper packs. Um, they are current paper packs from Stampin' Up! And um, I am using the paper pack um, Reindeer Days. And I will um, give you the, I'll give you my website in case you, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! person and you want to order this. It's the Reindeer Days. And these um, packs are 12 sheets, so there's a lot of paper in there. So I used this one for the reindeer. And then I also used um, the snowy scenes. And the colors are very compatible, so um, I just went ahead and used both. And from this one, I used this paper pack. And I used the scene. So I wanted it to look like the reindeer are, you know, flying over the, the houses and having a good time. So let me show you how I did the template. So this is going to be interactive, which means um, you can put, um, I was thinking, you know, if there's special Christmas cards, like my grandma used to send me a Christmas card and birthday card every year. And so you can lift this up. It will be, um, and I'll show you how it fits in the page protector. You can lift it up, and it will. You, we're going to make this page actually a pocket, so you could put letters to Santa that your kids had written, and they'll be right in there with your um, Christmas things. So here we go. So the first thing that you'll want to do is you will want to fold a piece of paper, and um, and I've already done that. I actually um, have. So I folded a piece of white paper in half. So you can see that this is a half of a 12 by 12 piece of paper. I folded it in half. And then I wanted, um, so um, once I got it folded in half, I, I cut it. Um, and, and I'm going to keep this because I'll, sh I'll show you why in just a minute. So um, I wanted... This is going to come down to about 12 inches. I mean, six and a half inches. So I slid it underneath here like this. And I, um, well, this is how I did it originally. I put the paper down like this. And I, made, I lined it up and made sure that this is in the center right at six. And this point is at six and a half. And I just folded it over my paper like this. Okay. Well, I want, you can see from here, this is this is the piece of paper that I cut out from this. And I wanted it to have a little um, part to turn over. So I am going to take this off. And I'm going to draw it's going to be an inch. I'm going to draw a line for an inch and then I'm going to cut that. That's going to be my cut line. And you might, and you know when you're messing around with this you might think, oh there's an easier way to do with that. And if 
If you can find an easier way, share it. So I'm going to, oops, do this like this. You know, we, we always had flip-flops with um, Close to My Heart, but um, this way, it it's kind of like a flip-flop, only it's kind of hard because this it, it kind of goes past. I'm on the struggle bus here a little bit, so I want it to be an inch. So I'm going to look under my ruler. My lines are... I think I'm going to, one of these days, I'm going to just draw a line that's a little bit... Okay, so I'm going to line that up. When it goes off, that's the hard thing, is it? Because when you get it a diagonal, it's more than... It's more than... Okay. It goes over. So I'm just going to come down here like this. It's going to be my cut line. So then I'm going to cut it like this. And remember, I'm not being super fussy because this is my template, which means I'm going to keep it and cut it out because this is kind of like a lot of uh, mumble jumble to go through. And um, the last one I did was way more precise, but of course I can't find that one when I go to record. Okay, so see how that it has little ears? I'm going to clip those off. Okay. And then this is my template. And what I did was, I put this on my piece of paper, and I cut it out. See? So this is this is my cutout page. Now I am ready to go ahead and do my work. I'll show you an idea. I haven't done this one, but just for giggles and grins, one of the um, sketch ideas that you could do is this could be Santa. Just see how quick quick that would go together and you could have a little belt here I would tear the edges and then you could have this would be a really fast Santa layout wouldn't that be fun which brings me to my next thing that I'm going to talk about for a little bit okay so the next thing okay so I have this then the next thing that I did was you can see from her sketch she has three I'm I, I, three um different V's going on. Um, I will show you what I did and you're welcome to do it however you want. So what I did was I placed this right like this and I drew a ruler right across right across the line like this and created this one. See how that was? I set this on the side I wanted it so see how it's slightly bigger and that's how I made it I put this like this have the two inches I put my ruler down across here like this drew it like that and then that was my cut line and I created this okay now next thing that we're going to do so the first thing that I'm putting down is my houses and I wanted my reindeer to look like they were flying over the houses wasn't that so super cute so I'm putting this down I'm gonna take my pictures off for the moment and this actually is a super fast layout you can see how fast it comes together so I'm going to put this and this is going to go here like this and I am going to trim that I want my point um, that's the only thing I'm going to really be fussy about is I want my point to be at six. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this down. Okay. Now, I'm setting it on the red sheet. And this is going to be my base. I am going to make this a pocket, so I'm going to run my tape runner all the way around like this. But I need to trim it to 11 and a half by 11 and a half 
first. Um, and here we go. So I'm going to get my paper trimmer, which is, oh, here it is. My paper trimmer. This might be a little bit longer video than what I normally do because, like I said, there's a lot to it. So there's my half inch, and there's my half inch. I'm going to line that all up. Okay, there's my quarter. There's my half, and I'm lining up. I'm not lining up this. I'm lining up my blue paper. And then I'm going to do the half on the bottom. Normally I do not do, I am not a patterned paper person. I, I tend to use a lot of cardstock. Now these are both supposed to be real red. But I feel like they might not be real red. And I'm going to have... Um, a half an inch all the way around like this and I'm leaving my top open I'm going to put that down my reds don't seem to be very matchy matchy this, um, it's because I got them from two different lots from the bottom and I do want that to be already ready set boy I wish that my red set matched a little bit more okay so I'm going to put and then this was I cut okay I cut this is um, a little triangle and I kind of did a little bit so this was at, at the bottom and I wanted my reindeers to look like they were running so I kind of just cut it at an angle I, I um, eyeballed that one because I wanted my reindeer to look like they're running somewhere so I make that on the bottom like this this would also be cute to use um, you could use this right here. The other side is really cute too. So, and I might use those for the Christmas lighting. And then I'm going to put, so this one, now, here's my tricky part. I am going to put this. Okay. Okay, so this has a pocket, and you might want to see how the pocket is. I can put things in the pocket. I would, if I were you, I would probably, I might even put things, like if I were going to put things in this pocket, I might have them have like some kind of drawstring so you can get them out easily. And now that I'm, I'm having this, I will probably, um, off screen, I probably put tear tape because you want it to be a little bit sturdy. So, remember my lip? That's going to go like this. Let's go ahead and try our page protector first. Um, let's go ahead and put our pictures down. I did not embellish this one hardly at all because it is a pocket that's going to be sliding in and out. And um, let's see. Let's have this. So it's going to go like this and it's going to go like that. And we'll have it over here like this. So it can, I like how things can overlap a little if it doesn't. And if you look at hers, see she has a lot of embellishments. I'm, I've got a lot of stuff going on. I have a lot of print. Um, and I'm just, and, and plus the fact that you're sliding, you're going you're gonna to slide this in and out. Possibly. So I am not going to embellish it. I'm just going to, I might later. Okay. So then this one can go a little bit like this. 
this. We're going to put this one down because she has one up farther, but we're not doing that because that is a flap. Okay. All right. Now, here is our page protector. So when the calendar is done, you can simply slide it into the page protector like this. I like to put them in there before I know. And so the flap, and I will definitely use tear tape at the top. Okay, so I'm going to slide this in. Oops. And I'm going to take tear tape. I will I will adhere it lightly here, but eventually you will want to do tear tape. And I would, if you're adding another page on the back of this one, which, which I am going to do. So, there we go. So this way you can open it up and you can slide things into the pocket. So you will definitely want to do um, top loading for that. So I'm going to pull it out just a bit, dab, and I'm going to make sure that I don't run over on the tape because I don't want it to... Right here, right where the crease is. And then I have an interactive element. Isn't that so much fun? There we go. And if you wanted to put a little piece of Velcro on there, I suppose you could. So that is our interactive. And I, I do have a little piece of Velcro, and I'm, I'll put it. I'll put the curl right there. So, I hope you will like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you will try this. Um, this is going to be a challenge for December. So, um, you could pop over to uh, the Joy Ani Scrap Into My Own Private I Help Business page. It's a Facebook group. And um, you could um, do this challenge. So, the challenge is use any Close To My Heart paper or Stampin' Up! paper. Um, and make a a pocketed or interactive um, page um, similar to this using some of the elements. If you find another way to do it, go ahead. I did want to show you, I do have one more other one that I am with the same concept. So this is, you, you wouldn't have to use a, um, you would not have to use a triangle, you could use the same concept um, using this um, shape. This is a circle cut out, a circle cut out. So um, it is um, about six inches wide, um, cut out a circle, and then um, you can have it up like that. You could put pictures on, on the bottom if you wanted to. You could have hidden journaling. So um, anyway, so that's going to be our challenge for the entire month of December is to use some kind of interactive um, flap. Um, um, anyway, so I hope you like and subscribe, and um, I will show you. I will show you how I put together the calendar, the finished calendar, and um, the album that I will give with it. And so that finishes my calendars for 2024. Check that one off. Um, talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.